gonna be cutting some more rocks. And I gotta pick, cause these are all in my box of rocks I wanna cut. I think I know which ones I'm gonna cut today. I know for sure I wanna cut this cold, what is it called, cold mountain thunder egg. I have tumbled some of these that I cut before and they are really, really cool looking. Oh, that's pretty. It's got egg at all around the edge. Oh yeah, that's pretty too. Cold Mountain Thunder Egg. It's got egg at all around the edge. Very pretty. And another one I really want to get to today is this Moroccan Agate. Um, it doesn't look like there's going to be too much going on, but, you know, when you cut into them, everything can change. Oh, I see all the pretty designs in them. Wow, that's so pretty. Another piece of the Moroccan agate. So pretty. Oh, these are nice. It kind of looks like it chipped off right here, right on the edge there, but it didn't. That's the shape it is. Very pretty. Yeah, it might be too thick. Really got a pretty design. Beautiful. I think this is my favorite. This is like almost at the end. That's just beautiful. I really like that. See, it's toward, towards the end. Again, too thick. Too thick to show up. It's so pretty. I did not think these Moroccan agates were gonna be this nice. It looked like it was just gonna be plain, like no lines, no design. So yeah, I'm really happy. This here is a piece of Kona Dolomite, and they got a name for these with the red dots like this, something blood-stained Kona Dolomite. I might be saying it wrong, but the word blood is in it. And this is a softer rock. Solidness to that color though right here. Some striping, but, so yeah, this'll be one for sure today. I got several of the blood-stained conodolomite with the red like that. It's called something. If I find what it what they call it, I will write it up above. But yeah, these are pretty. Conodolomite can only be found in a certain area. And that area is in Marquette County of Michigan. Nice. I did cut some pink conodolomite also. But this is the ones with what they call blood stains. Pretty stuff. And then I have the pink conodolomite. I want to cut this one. This is, like I said, softer material. I think it would make some nice, I don't know, some nice little slabs. So that one for sure. Okay, here's the pink conodolomite. You can see it's quite different. Very nice. Tried to cut somewhat of a rectangle here. Yeah. I really like conodolomite. I always did. It's pretty stuff. Here is a broken piece of the cold mountain thunder egg. I don't know if this little one would be worth messing with or just throw it in the tumbler like it is. This here was found in, believe it or not, Lake Superior. That so much looks like petrified wood, but they say we don't have that here. So I really wanna cut into that. Here's one I said, boy, they say we don't have petrified wood in Wisconsin or Michigan. Oh, what do you guys think? I mean, that is, Pretty, <sighs> mosquitoes biting me. Pretty neat looking stuff. Let's see, here's another piece. 
I got several pieces. It don't look like any rock I have ever found. So, I don't know. Give me your thoughts. What do you think it is? I just don't know. I know I like it. I can't wait to see how it tumbles. Here's the outside of it. That's what the outside looked like. And it was shaped like like a branch, you know, like a fairly small branch. Yeah, I just don't know for sure what it is. This one here was found in Marquette, Michigan, Upper Michigan. It just has a lot of really fun, pretty colors. I would like to cut that one today. Here's a part of the, oops, I see I messed up. This was found over by the Black Rocks and um, Iron, <laughs> not Iron Mountain. Black Rocks in Marquette, Michigan. Some sea maggots I would like to get to that I found in Marquette, Michigan. Um, there's a couple seam. Nope, this one's just a really pretty one. Not sure if it's agate or jasper, but I'm really thinking maybe that one. I had a lot of rocks from Lake Superior that I thought could be agate them. A little clear spot on this one, I see. Yeah. Oh, there's something biting me. I think I see a little agate on the left side. Either way, it sure is pretty. Yeah, it should tumble good. That's actually very pretty inside. I like it. And I really like the colors. I know this is just quartz with something else going on in it. I think it's really pretty. I'd like to get to that, or I'll just tumble it as is. The quartz with the possibly limonite staining. I was glad I cut it. I just think it's really pretty. I thought this one was really pretty. Found in Marquette. We had this one here. It looked like that. And I thought, oh, that looks like that looks like it could be cool inside. But that's what it looks like. It was found in Marquette, Michigan. This one has some agate, um, agate possibilities. This one's possibilities here is a sea maggot. I'd like to cut into that. But this one has some agate on it. So yeah, that would be fun too. This one really is neat. I might just tumble this one like it is. Anyway, I'm going to get to the Kona's. For sure, Kona Dolomite. I'm gonna get to the Moroccan Agate and the Cold Mountain and the Cold Mountain Thunder Egg for sure. I don't know, too many choices. We'll see what happens. Here's more of the Lake Superior rocks I thought could be agates. Some of them turned out really nice. Gotta make nice little pendants. Someday I'll do a video on that. I'm actually doing all this so I have them for the winter to make jewelry when, you know, you can't do nothing else. I did cut this one in half, but it wasn't worth it. I found while I was visiting the Black Rocks in Marquette, Michigan. And I really do like it. Oh, I think I got another piece. Yeah, here's another piece of it. It's just really pretty inside. Not sure what it was. Here's another one I thought could be agate. I found in Lake Superior. They're really pretty little pieces. They're all gonna be little tiny. Well, that one's got the round on the back yet. But some of these will be little tiny uh, pendants probably or something like that. Uh, here's some more Lake Superior possible agate. It does have a little agate on the left. But all in all, they turned out really pretty, if anything. Glad I cut them. Ooh, look at that little knob left on there. <laughs> I just woke up, you guys. My voice is <clears throat> still morning voice. I did cut that little piece of cold mountain thunder egg, and oh, as soon as the saw hit it, it just busted up anyway. So it'll be a tumbler, but this is what I ended up with the cold mountain thunder egg. A lot of them broke. Got all these little tiny pieces. Not sure what I'm gonna do with them. I do 
like the fact that they have that egg inside them. This one broke on me. I'll show you, watch. Yeah. Oh no, I got two pieces. <laughs> It'll actually fit in the tumbler now. And uh, I think I showed these, but just going over them a little bit. There's the pink conodolomite. Didn't get a whole lot out of that. Here's the quartz with the, I don't know, something in it. Whether it's limonite staining, I'm not sure. But I'm glad I cut it. It's pretty. Um, here's the moose blood conodolomite. Which I've got quite a few of those. And I love them. These are kind of rare to find. Well, conodolomite's rare anyway if you don't live near Marquette, Michigan. Because that is the only place you can find these. I'm sure some makes its way around in the water. And then this is all the rock and agate pieces. Some broke. But all in all, I ended up with quite a bit. Pretties. Very pretty. That one broke. And my favorite of the Moroccan is the last piece I got off of it, which is that one. I love it. Aww. That Mar I was busy cutting, you guys, as you can see. But I'm pretty happy with the results. And thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.